Good afternoon to you. Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for the 30th day of June 2013. Welcome to the last day of the month of June. The tropics only active in the eastern Pacific here with Tropical Storm Delilah. And even though there are some Tropical Storm advisories going on here for the extreme west coast of Mexico, that will be probably no big deal because Delilah is going to turn left or westward away from the coast and maybe just bring a few showers and an increase in winds to the region but nothing substantial that's for sure looking at a satellite picture of it Delilah a small tropical storm in aerial coverage uh, but nonetheless as it makes that turn just before it does so maybe just enough of tropical storm conditions possible for the west coast of Mexico there to warrant the advisories that were posted for that region you can also see the leftover dwindling circulation of what was once Hurricane Cosme sitting out there, just a low-level cloud swirl over that colder Pacific water. And it's interesting I mentioned that. You see there's absolutely no heat content to speak of out here. And even where Delilah is located down here, the heat content is marginal. And then it's going to move into an area of lower to non-existent heat content. And Delilah, too will go the way that Cosme went and just slowly vanish uh, from the top down. That convection will go away and it'll just become a low-level swirl as well. So far, with this being the fourth named storm, we haven't had any severe impacts on the coast of Mexico yet on the Pacific side, so that's good news. Hopefully that luck will hold through the remainder of the season. Now looking at the Atlantic Basin, Things still very quiet here. There's a tropical wave in here, another one in here. And then you've got very strong surface high pressure literally nosing its way down uh, from this big Azores Bermuda High couplet sitting out here. And that's keeping the pattern nice and stable for the most part. Then you've got uh, the stalled frontal boundary sitting across the southeast as a focusing mechanism for showers and thunderstorms. But nothing developing tropically right now. Interesting though, we look out at Africa, the Saharan air layer really just kind of undercut here, or shrunk or edged back, whatever you want to call it. I was surprised to see this. I figured it would be real prevalent all the way out into the Atlantic, um, but it's not. So the Saharan dust and dry air really not too much of a factor as uh, we have seen. And sometimes you can really get this to bloom out into the Atlantic like that, all colored in and pinks and reds here indicating very dry particulate laden air but it's interesting that the southern extent of it here is sharply cut off uh, to the south of 20 degrees of latitude right there uh, probably another month to go if that and then we'll start seeing these tropical waves that come off of Africa here get a little bit more active and by the time we get into mid-August through the end of September and maybe the first couple of weeks of October depending on how the season goes this area will be the prime region to watch. But right now, things are nice and quiet in the Atlantic. It makes for a short update. Well, that's it for today, the last day of June. Again, I'm Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com. Always a privilege and an honor to be able to produce these videos for Hurricane Pro and HD. Have yourselves a great rest of your Sunday. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow.